Welcome along to another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. My name is Robert and I'll be taking you through the session today. Help us continue to make material like this available. If you find this video beneficial, we would ask you to make a donation towards helping us improve what we currently provide. All donations, no matter how small, will ensure the continuation and improvement of our offerings. To make a donation, please go to donation.satinalliance.com.au. Our video presentation will focus on wiki libraries, which are part of SharePoint version 3. So the first thing we need to do is to fire up our SharePoint version 3 site. As you can see, I've already created a wiki, so I simply click on the link to go into my wiki library. Again, it looks like a normal document library. You see that I've got one item in here already. If I choose, I can pull this down. I can view its properties, edit its properties, do all the normal things I can do with a document in a, in a document library. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new document here and show you the benefit of a wiki is basically the fact that you can edit and enter text or information straight online. You don't need any special editing tools to create a document in a wiki. Now that we've started to create the text, we can see that we have a number of rich formatting features, including cut, copy, paste, undo, tables, links. What I'll do here is I will select to change the text size, make it a little bit larger, I'll make it bold, I'll also change the text color, and make it something to stand out, and again I can keep going on adding more and more information as required. Another feature of a wiki is that when I enter a hyperlink or a website, it will convert that directly into a hyperlink within the document. So if I click on this, I will now open that website. But I can, if I want to, manually enter the link by selecting the text that I require and going up here and clicking on the link button. Simply type the full web address in here and it will create a hyperlink for me. When I finished editing my document, I simply create it and you'll see it will show me the completed document. If I want, I can go back in and edit the document I can make the correction to the spelling mistake. I can continue to add more information. I can again choose to change its formatting. So I'll remove the formatting, put it back to what it is normal. And when I finished, I simply click OK to complete. Next to the edit button, you'll also see here is a history button. This will show me all the changes that I've made in each version that I've worked on. So in this case I've been working on this document twice so over on the left I have two versions. You can see the most current version but you can also see highlighted that I deleted this text and inserted this text and then added this text as well. If I want to I can simply click on the previous version and see what my original document was. Up the top you'll notice that I can delete the version this means I remove it out of my wiki and are unable to restore to it, but this saves me space. But I can, if I want, restore this version. This basically means that as people within your organization are adding information to a wiki and it's incorrect or it's wrong, you can simply revert back to a previous version. But at this stage, I'm happy with the version that I've been working on. So I will return to the wiki. So again, if we want to view the item that I've created here, I simply click on it and you'll see it has the information that I've updated. But if I look at history, again, you'll see the fact that I've deleted this text and added it. And I have another previous version. I can again, across the top here, manage the permissions, check out this document out of my wiki library to allow me to work on it without other people interfering with that. So again, I return to my wiki to view all the pages. As with normal 
SharePoint document libraries, you'll see that I can view my information a number of different ways. So I can view information with recent changes. I can again sort on my column headers simply by clicking on the column and then choosing what I want. Across the top I've got the normal menus where I can create new wiki pages, I can edit in a data sheet, export it to a spreadsheet, view it via RSS and set up alerts. And finally I've got the standard settings menu which allows me to create additional columns in my wiki, create a different view and also go into the settings for this document library. The place where wikis are very handy is normally in the creation of a knowledge base for a business. Here's an example of a, no a technical knowledge base that's been created in the online support web SharePoint site. So here you can see that if I want to look at about information on Acronis, I simply click on the wiki entry and it will provide me with all the information that I currently understand about this product. This is a very powerful concept for a lot of businesses because information within a business, much of it is not recorded and not written down and actually resides in employees' heads. With a wiki and SharePoint, you can document all this information to make it easier for people to collate and also means that if that person then leaves the business, the information is retained by the business. And of course, the information is then backed up, stored in a logical manner and taking advantage of the other feature of SharePoint is you can also search that information using the built-in search facilities of SharePoint. So once again, wikis are a new feature of SharePoint version 3. They are basically a way that you can create online documents and typically a great example of where a wiki can be beneficial to a business is in the creation of a knowledge base so that your employees can keep entering more and more information about the business, having it documented, having the procedures written down rather than it just floating around on bits of paper or floating around in their head. Again, this is another great avenue for the use of SharePoint within even the smallest business. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation from Saturn Alliance. If you have any comments or feedback about the presentation or any presentation that we create, simply send me an email, robert at satinalliance.com.au. Once again, thank you very much for listening.